Alright, alright. Welcome back to Game 3 with Grixis Stopters. Game 1 and 2 were both against Teamer Energy, so, uh, you know, we, we put up a, a good fight in Game 1, or Match 1. Not so much in Match 2. Let's see what we do here in Match 3. Okay, so we won the dice roll, so we'll choose to go first. Now, I'm going to keep this because the deck is heavy in red. So we're going to kind of go for this here. Just hope that we get a red source or a means in which to play a red source. We'll go ahead and play the island. And then play the inventor's goggles and pass the turn. Okay, so if we do get a red source, we're going to definitely have a good start here all right there it is so we're just gonna play one red one blue and we're gonna play Maverick Thopterist here and we'll always yield to this yes we'll let all three of these go on and we have a 5-8 on turn 3 and two 1-1s. That's pretty decent for us. I assume he has a, uh, yeah, unlicensed disintegration here. So we're still going to block. Because we're just going to make the same play again next turn. Another Spires. We are going to have to take another life. And we will equip, we will equip, we will equip. And our board is rebuilt. Games where you actually have Inventor's Goggles versus games where you don't are just absolutely amazing veteran motorist okay we really love something like a decoction module or something like that but ooh, heart of Kieran all right so we can't use the inventors fair yet definitely think we just get in here. Do we just get in for five? I think that's the safest attack. And then I am going to go ahead and play my Whirler. And we're going to allow we're just going to allow I want to say two of them to go over. Yeah, we'll say two. This still keeps him above uh, a braid. And then he would have to be double abraded. Okay, so we survived Glorybringer with this. Maybe we should have left it to play around the Glorybringer. Okay, so the exert is going to kill him. We will just chump block both of them. And we'll just chump block one.
Harness Lightning is good for us here. Um, we're just going to swing and pass the turn. We should have probably equipped... Okay, so he's going to crew. He's going to attack with both. Only the one. We will harness lightning this. Now that's going to leave us at only one energy. But it's something we kind of had to do. He could have overcrewed it and made it six and then would have spent all of our energy. He's got another. Okay. Aether Swooper. Okay, so if we. Go get a decoction module. We can't equip. We play Aether Swooper, it auto equips. I think we need the decoction module here. We need more blockers. We don't need it to auto equip, we need to protect this. Um, although if it does auto-equip, we auto-equip all of them, we would have, have, have a blocker for Glorybringer. Hmm, I think we sack it. As, as bad as that sounds... And we're going to get Ooh, Aether Sphere Harvester is actually pretty decent. But we're going to take the decoction module. And looking at taking 10, 11, 12, 13 next turn. We could just die next turn if we swing. And I'm going to do it anyway. He's got one card in hand. I think if it was unlicensed disintegration, we would have seen it. He's just going to block. Okay. We'll pray he doesn't have a magma spray. Okay. So yeah, there was no point in me swinging there. I don't know why I did that. That's a definite punt. So I would love like a tune or another decoction module off the top. Uh, although another decoction module would not help us. So we're taking 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 here. This is lethal. Yeah, I shouldn't have swung. That was definitely a punt that cost us the game. Okay, well, that's game one. Um, maybe I need to sit back with this deck and build up resources till I can do things with it? I don't know. I, perhaps I'm just playing this strategy completely wrong. If anyone else has had any success with this deck, please let me know. I, I mean, I know I've done a few point, uh, had a few punts, but the deck should be much stronger than this. Or, um, okay, so we know we want the the magma sprays here. A braid is great here. We probably want a braid over harness lightning. However, glory bringer is a problem. 
Um, I'm going to take out the Sky Sovereign. We'll take out a Pia. I don't want to take out Reverse Engineer, but I also don't want to take out Metallic Rebuke. Maybe Scarab got out would be the right play here. However, I just don't think so. Maybe we don't need Aether Sphere Harvester in this matchup. I don't know. It is a very quick deck, and they have strikes and things of that nature. Let's just say Reverse Engineer is a li little too slow. Okay, here we go. Well, we got land. We have we have things. I think we keep this and play the fetid pools on one. Although, do we even need fetid pools? Do we want to cycle that turn two? Just depends on what he gets. So maybe we want to cycle fetid pools on. No, we want to play decoction module on two. So let's just play the fetid pools. We know we're going to want a lot of land here. So he just plays a land, passes back. We will Spire Bluff Canal into Decoction Module and pass back. Heart of Kieran. An additional Decoction Module. We can play this and then start taking a few hits from Heart. Getting out two of these is, is pretty good for us. Besides, heart, uh, we can't kill the Heart anyway. So we're going to take the hit. This will at least allow us to play Maverick Thopterist and get a lot of energy. Camp Lannery Storm, okay. Okay, so we have some, some nice options here. Can we get out? We can't get out both. We can keep up Harness Lightning, though. We'll do it secretly with the Spire. No, we can't. We cannot keep up Harness Lightning. I guess we just play this anyway. Yeah. We'll always yield to that. And we'll pass the turn. Artery Vehicles is another deck that preys upon uh, a meta that's weak to flying. So he's going to Glorybringer here, I believe. Nope, Unlicensed Disintegration. Okay. And that will make Captain Lantern Storm large enough to crew, and then we'll just chump block here for one. Okay, so no other creature from the opponent. Now we can Maverick Thopterist and leave up Harness Lightning. So all the energy we could ever want, all we got to do is find a Whirler Virtuoso. And pray he doesn't have a way to wipe the board.
So he's gonna swing with Captain Lannery Storm. So we will block Captain. Perhaps we shouldn't have blocked Captain, or maybe we should kill Captain. I don't think so. And we'll just pay in a life here. Another scrap heap scrounger. And another scrap heap scrounger. Okay. Well, we will Aether Swooper. And do we want to? Yeah, I think we just hold up for blocks here. Pretty sure we just replay Swooper again next turn. We'll block this one, we'll block this one, and might as well try to stop the damage here. So we'll accept that blocks have been made. So we will try to bounce our Aether Swooper. Okay, I, I kind of figured we would get um, something there. Alright. Enough to go infinite. All we need is a whirler off the top. So we pass. He's got another braid. I guess he just does that. Okay. He's just going to swing for nine on us here. Pretty much have to have a Whirler Virtuoso off the top here. Now, we haven't seen one the whole game, so maybe. We're 13 cards deep. Our opponent has disconnected. Well, that's not what we wanted to see. Well, we're still waiting on our opponent to come back. Wow, well, that's horrible. Hopefully he'll be back here. Well, since we're waiting on him, let's look at the deck. So far, I mean, I really like it. I think I'm playing it wrong uh, with the wrong like tactic or um, impression of the of the fight going into it. Like maybe I'm supposed to be the aggressor, maybe I'm not. I I really don't know if if that's how it's supposed to work. Am I supposed to set up for this just this huge value game? Um, I don't, I don't know if like, if that is the right way to go or 
depending on which deck I'm playing, I don't I don't have enough experience with the deck to know exactly where I sit in each matchup. Um, but as far as the deck itself goes, Sky Sovereign Console Flagship, Maverick Thopterus, awesome cards. I mean, I absolutely love how quick you can fill a board up just by playing, you know, with two mana Maverick Thopterus. And then, you know, going infinite with Whirler has just been great. I actually think the deck could probably use another Aether Sphere Harvester or two. I really like the fact that you can play any of your dudes and then you get to swing in for three. And it, it's almost like giving them haste. So, I kind of I kind of like that. Uh, the other thing... Um, I don't know. I, I haven't actually been as much of a fan of Metallic Rebuke as I thought I would be. I mean, maybe I should be taking it out in certain matchups or something of that nature, but I just haven't been, you know, as, as excited about Metallic Rebuke. By the time I can usually get it to working uh, or to where I can cast it or something of that nature, then they're already beyond, you know, paying three. People are so used to being able to play around Supreme Will anyway. Would this card just be better as Supreme Will? I don't know. Um, maybe if you could get your Improvise off a little bit more. I don't. I don't really know. I know I like the red Artificer that is being played in the blue red Artificer's deck. Uh, I think it's like Aether Chaser. Now, even though it's not flying, it has First Strike and it's extremely relevant. And putting Inventor's Goggles on it with First Strike is really, really good. So, I do like Aether uh, Chaser, and his front side is a little bit bigger, I mean, he's a 2-1, he's a so you would end up with, you know, a 3-3, a three, three, but a 3-3 three, three first strike's pretty good. We may play that deck, I, uh, I've got a couple games in with that deck, and it seems like a lot of fun, so. Let's check on our opponent, what is going on? Oh, he's back, alright. So he played a concealed courtyard, and now he's going to swing us. All right, Whirler off the top. Let's hope it does not get killed. Well, it shouldn't matter. Well, we went infinite. Yay! <laughs> well, that, that was worth taking a break from. Opponent said nice rip. Okay, so let's drop the metallic rebuke because most of his creatures are so cheap and then I actually think crook seems good here and I'm gonna bring in sky sovereign I'm gonna bring that back and let's run it like this duress might be good here <laughs> okay so we don't have We've got a lot of land that's for sure I think we're going to mulligan this hand. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, if we're going to be uh, playing control here, we'll take all the abrades. Let's just Aether Hub. Next turn, we probably run out the decoction module. Or just to braid that. Kind of like just abrading it. Um, I mean, we take one point on di uh, damage for it. But we can just use the energy. And then we'll pass turn. Having multiple crooks seems like uh, we're going to be able to sandbag one of them and then kind of let him like set us up to use one. So we'll, we'll see where, 
where that goes. Cultivator's caravan. Okay. Um. Uh, actually, just going to play fetid pools, and we'll play the decoction module and pass the turn. Now, if he crews cultivator's caravan, we take five here. Then that, that definitely these that'll happen. So there's a Pia. Next turn we'll like a braid and crook. Okay, so he's getting in for five. Um, I guess we just actually put down another decoction module. And then we'll take one to destroy that. And Chandra, we are definitely in some trouble here, guys. Need a creature off the top. These be a fairly good one. That is not it. So we are one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wow. I think we're just dead here. <clears throat> yeah, we're dead. Okay, that was game three with Grixis Thopters. So I think that the deck is really good, but I think maybe this is just a bad showing of the deck. Now, as is custom, if we go, uh, you know, 0 and 3, we just stop right there. So we're going to just run out these two. If if something changes in the meta, and I think that this deck is actually, you know, much better placed, then you know we'll, we might try to run it back again. I definitely don't think that the showing we've had here is a good showing of the deck. I'm still going to post it because you know. That's kind of one of those things, you know. Sometimes you you have bad runs, and that is going to happen. But um, we definitely put up a really good fight in match one against Teamer. We put up a, a really decent fight in in this last one. Granted, in game three we did kind of get run over there, but the deck is strong and it has some extremely powerful plays. Um, it's really cool to see, you know, decks with. Um, infinite combos in standard there's not a lot of infinite combos and the fact that this deck actually won top eight in shanghai that that means a lot for the deck so you know that's a much better showing than the three games i just had from picking the deck up so definitely if you like the idea of an infinite combo if you think this is a, you know a gameplay that you might like remember we had some extreme power like some of the games where we just came out you know with multiple inventors goggles into you know a a turn two or turn three um, Maverick Thopterist or something of that nature. It was just really, really good. Um, I, not turn two, but turn three Maverick Thopterist. You know, those were some really good plays, and I really enjoyed playing, you know, decks that had those explosive lines. So the deck's really good. I like the deck. I think that there might be some shifts that might need to be made for helping it combat the meta. I definitely think that the black sources need to be fixed maybe not so much on the spire of industry but other than that the deck's extremely good i did not like having to take or pay life for mana but that just may be the best way you're going to get grixis for this shale um the scarab god never really got to see that card in this deck so we never got to do any scarab god shenanigans or anything like that again could have just been some bad draws but that's the deck i hope you enjoyed the gameplay i did have a lot of fun i hope you had fun and we'll see you next time here on the sideboard